Hi everyone, this is Chris here from My Old House Fix, and today we're going to give you a short overview of the maintenance of an ERV whole house ventilation system. So you might ask, what is an ERV? Uh, ERV is an energy recovery ventilator. So basically it provides fresh air and ventilation to your whole house, especially after you've tightened it up or finished up all of your insulation projects and now the house is super tight. So here we have the kit that we're going to replace in the ERV. It's a HEPA filter kit. This model filters the air with a HEPA filter. Here's a picture of the ERV here. So we're going to go pop up in the attic here in just a minute and show you how to do that. The kit comes with the HEPA filter. You replace this once a year and the pre-filter every six months. And the good news is you only need a Phillips head screwdriver to perform this maintenance. So, let's go pop up in the attic and show you the ERV and get started on some maintenance. Okay, so we're up in the attic here in the Eiding house. This is the ERV, or Energy Recovery Ventilator. So we'll start by removing the front cover. Two Phillips head screws here. One there, one there. We've unplugged it for safety and turned it off downstairs. So now we'll remove the front cover. Okay, so now that we have the front cover off, we'll give you a quick overview of just how this ERV works. So as we said, it's a whole house air ventilator. There's a heat exchanger in the middle, your HEPA filter and your pre-filter, your fans. You have a valve over on this side, and you can recirculate the air in the house or bring in fresh air the intake that runs out through the chimney. So this would pull in fresh air. If you want fresh air, this valve would be open. It would come in and whether it's hot or cold outside, it'll precondition it with the air that's already in the house. So in the summertime, you won't have super hot air coming back into the house. Wintertime, just the same with cold air. Or you can recirculate the air in the house. So this valve would close and you can recirculate just in a loop the air that's currently in the house. So you can have the best of both worlds, recirculate or bring in fresh air. So on the other end, you have the exhaust. This pipe comes out, goes out the roof. So this will exhaust any stale air. Or if you have an intake next to a shower, you can also use this machine as an exhaust vent. So if we're pulling any you know, smells out of the house from cooking or any humidity, any condensation from your shower, it would come out and go through the exhaust as well. So again, the intent is to keep clean air in the house, nice stable temperature to keep it as close to the internal temperature in the house as possible, and recirculate that air and clean it in the process. So the next step, we'll remove the pre-filters. There's two foam pre-filters here. We'll pull those out. These will be washed with soap and water and just put these back in, these are reusable. So we'll pull those out. Retaining clip in the bottom here, we'll slide that out. Pull out the bottom filter. Then we'll pull out the pre-filter. We'll replace that. And last but not least, the HEPA filter. We'll slide that out. And we'll be replacing that once a year. So what we have left is the heat exchanger. Once a year they do recommend pulling this unit out and vacuum the cores on it just to get any dust out. So that's what we'll do next. We'll slide this out and we'll vacuum it out. Okay, so now that we have the heat exchanger out, we vacuumed it out and we reassemble in the reverse order. So we slid back in the heat exchanger at the four points and lined it up. Slid that back in. We'll reinstall both foam filters. Those have been washed. Replace those in the top. And the one at the bottom. Then we'll pop in the new HEPA filter. Right here. 
I just slide straight in. And the new pre-filter, just line it up in the grooves. Slide that in. And that's pretty much it. Wipe out the case, any residual dust, and you're pretty much good to go. Now we'll reinstall the front cover and pop the two screws back in. Okay, we have the front cover back on. Pop the two screws back in the bottom, make sure it's nice and tight. Plug the unit back up, go downstairs, and turn it back on at the control panel. Okay, that's pretty much it. This is maintenance on an energy recovery ventilator. We replaced the pre-filter, the annual HEPA filter. We cleaned the other two pre-filters and put it back together. So now we have our unit running again with HEPA filtered air for the entire house. All right, everyone, I uh, hope this uh, helped to uh, kind of shed some light on what an ERV does and what it takes to maintain it. This is Chris from My Old House Fix, and out here, see you on the next project. See you guys.